Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff from Workshop Addict, and let's take a look at the DeWalt DCR025 job site Bluetooth radio and charger. Now this is the type of radio that we see on a lot of job sites. I'm on job sites, you know, 15, 20 different sites every day, and this is the type of radio with the roll bars. It's more of a construction, it's gonna take a good beating. And what we see most of the time with guys on job sites is they're listening to their favorite radio station there in point. This one lacks a little bit on bringing in your favorite radio station. For instance, you'd have yours in here in the shop and mediocre. My station, we actually had to go outside to pull it in. Which is kind of somewhat the norm, I think, with some of the job site radios that are out there. They don't get the best reception, um, but it's not horrible at the same point. If you're using this radio outside, you'd think it works great. Yeah, because then again, I mean, somebody's favorite radio station might not be the strongest broadcaster as others. Like ours. Right. While this radio might have mediocre FM radio reception, it actually does have some really nice qualities. It's got a built-in charger right on the back of the radio and it does not affect the FM reception whatsoever. Now the actual playback of the music or the audio quality is pretty good. It's not quite up to the tough system music because you don't have a subwoofer, but it's going to be great for a job site and the clarity is here. As long as you don't go to full wide open, which is 30 on this, and you stay around 25, you can adjust the equalizer and get some really quality sound. Also, you can plug this unit in or unplug it to use it as a charger or run it off the battery without it stopping any of the sound coming out of the unit. You don't have to restart it. Everything just keeps working and seamlessly goes between battery and corded power. Let's take a closer look at this radio. In the front of the radio, you have a LED light that tells you the charging status of the battery when it is plugged in. Below that is five buttons for presets that works with FM1, FM2, and AM. And then below that is your volume and your uh, power button to turn it on and off. You can access your equalizer by just pushing the EQ. You can bump the bass up to plus or minus three or the treble up to plus or minus three. You can adjust your clock settings or actually mute this unit if you were to run into a client on the job site or need to talk to someone else. Very simple to use and pairing with the Bluetooth is very simple. You just push the Bluetooth button. You can find it on your phone very rapidly and connecting with Bluetooth and using it has worked really good for us. Up front we have a large storage compartment for your phones or tablets, whatever you might have plugged into the radio. Unfortunately it's not waterproof, but it does have a 2.1 amp USB charging port and an auxiliary port. On this end of the radio we have two 10 amp max AC outlets. On the back of the radio you have a cord wrap for the six foot cord and there's also enough room to slide in a flex volt battery without hitting the cord or having any issues. You do have to raise the antenna to get the battery in or out. Um, very simple, nice little setup. Finally on this end of the radio for you off job site enthusiasts, we even have a bottle opener. All in all, it's a real nice job site radio. It's a little heavy weighing in at 14 pounds, but with all the rollover protection on it, I think it does a great job. You know, this comes with a three year warranty, one year free service, and 90 day money back guarantee. So if you try it out and don't like it, you have a lot of uh, DeWalt's guarantees behind you. Stop by Workshop Addict. We got a blog and a forum. We can talk about this radio more or follow us on social media. We answered some questions this morning while we're doing this filming. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.